bottom line is your latest research uh, pretty much says, uh, that comes to the conclusion, that the United States is not ground zero for mass shootings in the world, is it? No, it's not even close. We're well below the average. Uh, you have a number of countries in Europe that have higher murder rates from mass public shootings than we have here in the United States. Uh, we looked at data for 15 years from 1998 through 2012. And what you find is that the United States ranks 62nd in terms of uh, murders from mass public shootings, the murder rate. And 56 per capita. Uh, right. And, and what, what you're trying to do is uh, trace back what the mainstream media has been using as its basis for a lot of its anti-gun statistical references. And it's this guy named uh, Adam Lankford, who is a criminologist uh, in this country. Uh, and he came up with some conclusions that apparently is based on flawed data. Right. Well, he put out a paper that the President Obama used multiple times while he was president. And when it came out in 2015, got hundreds of news stories, was covered extensively around the world in many different countries. And uh, he claimed that the out of if you looked at 47 years from 1966 to 2012, the United States counted for 31 percent of the mass public shooters in the world. I asked him for his list of cases. He claimed that there were 202 shooters over those 47 years who were outside the United States and 90 who were in the United States. I've asked for it. Other academics have asked for his cases. He refused to give them out. He doesn't even completely explain where he found the cases. I don't know how to find mass public shootings in Africa, let's say in the 1960s or in the 1970s or other parts of the world. You know, people are spoiled by the amount of data that we have access here to in the United States. And there are many parts of the world where you can have murder rates 20 fold or more higher than what we have here in the United States. They, they're newspapers and news outlets simply don't cover uh, much of the murders there because they cover nothing else if right. that's what they cover. And the mainstream media just wants to go ahead, just like climate change. You know, they, they want to take this information and just report it without questioning it. I would imagine all the research you do uh, is checked and double-checked and footnoted. So if they want to double-check your research and invite you on a program like this one, they certainly could and challenge you on, on your information. And one of the things you've concluded is where the uh, countries that do have a higher murder rate exist. And it's not the United States. Uh, it's Norway, Finland, Switzerland, uh, and Russia, 45% higher than the United States. Uh, a lot of these countries have a lot of things in common. Uh, and one of them is no Second Amendment, as far as I know. Right. Well, I mean, there are lots of different types of countries that have rates much higher than the United States. If you're looking at shooters, we make up about 1.4% of the world's total. We make up 4.6% of the world's population. So we're well below the average for, for other countries. But, you know, with Adam Langford, uh, you know, we've tried to go and get his data. I put mine out. Uh, people can go to our website at crimeresearch.org, and we have uh, an Excel file. We have other data that's there. There's an appendix that people can download that's 451 pages and 10-point type, where they can go and see each of the cases from around the world, information on the number of people killed, the new sources that we use to go and track down the cases. And if people want to, they can go and check those cases themselves. And finally, uh, he tries, as Langford tries to build a case, I think, uh, either uh, specifically or implicitly, uh, of some sort of correlation between gun ownership and mass shootings. And again, uh, your research uh, finds pretty much the opposite, and that is uh, gun ownership kind of acts as a deterrent in many cases. That's right. I mean, once you fix the data, uh, any claims that he makes regarding gun ownership and mass public shootings completely goes away. Uh, in fact, if anything, you find a, a negative relationship between between those two things, as you say. Ergo, but, the book. Know, uh, ergo, the book that you authored, uh, John. Uh, More guns, less crime. Um, it, right. it pretty much sums it up uh, right there and probably why you wrote the book in the first place. John, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.